think it's really useful to think about, um, I spend a lot of time thinking about ways to dissect what trust is. And one model suggests that we think about it in terms of competence, benevolence, and integrity. And I think journalists feel pretty comfortable with competence. Like when we talk about transparency and telling the story of what we do and why it's credible, we're really good at thinking about like, well, here's the outline I'm gonna build you that shows that I know what I'm doing. We don't spend as much time thinking about integrity and benevolence. And if people don't believe that we're on their side and that we're here because society needs us and we have good intentions, then what's the point? When we think about um, shining a light on journalism, the transparency that the Knight Commission has recommended, a few challenges of that are that sometimes journalism is really boring. How journalism works is really, really boring. I listen to, I have a podcast I love that I'm not going to name because I'm criticizing it. And there was a behind the scenes episode lately. And I got really excited because I'd heard the episode that they were talking about. And they had a whole other episode about how that first episode came together. But you guys, it was like, um, it was like the challenges that the journalists faced and the obstacles in getting the interviews and stuff. It, it wasn't about the thing that I tuned in that I cared about, the subject of the podcast. So too often when we shine a light on ourselves, we're boring. Also, um, sometimes there's a lot of irresponsible and unethical things done in the name of journalism. And when we think about defending and explaining journalism, we don't, we're, not, we're not dwelling enough in the stuff we don't want to defend. There's also a lot of journalism that is, to Charlie's point, dishonest about its agenda and its purpose. So there are three things that um, in the work that I do, we're qu places we recommend journalists begin. The first is to really understand mistrust. Spend enough time with your critics to, um, to figure out what about you they don't trust. It's so easy to blow off negative comments, but within there, you'll find things like, man, they really, they really do have all these assumptions about why we did a story. Um, they really do think that money influences what we do. They really do doubt that we're here to do good work. They think we're out to get people. They think we're not on the side of our community. So first, journalists really need to spend time figuring out what the mistrust is all about. And then make a list of what the misassumptions are. Sometimes the mistrust is based in things that are really valid. They're really mad at you about something you did or something the industry does that makes a lot of sense. Sometimes the mistrust is based in misassumptions. The list of misassumptions is crazy long. The thing is, there's a lot that I don't understand about other industries and other businesses, and yet I'm surprised when people aren't intimately familiar with how I do my job. My dad said something to me recently. I gave an interview for something, and he's like, oh, I hope they paid you for your time. And I'm like, Dad, that's, that's, that's not how this works. <laughs> and he's a pretty educated news consumer. So we're not spending time thinking about what the, figuring out what those misassumptions are and addressing them. And the third, the third thing I think it's really important for us to be thinking about is expanding people's definition of what journalism even is. Very often when I talk to people about what I do, even when I'm talking to like, you know, the audience of a local community newspaper, the conversation switches to national politics. And the, just people's perception of what journalism is has gotten narrower and narrower, and we've allowed that to happen. So I think there's a very important conversation that needs to happen about trust in national political journalism, and I look forward to doing some of that. But also, journalism is traffic and business and sports and education and all of these things that when I talk to people about trust in their local newspaper, their local radio, their local TV especially, and national news about other things, that's just like not even on their radar. So um, I work with, uh, I run the Trusting News Project and we've done a lot of really interesting research. There's a link here at the bottom in case the research minded of you would like to dig into some of it. Recently, we did some research with the Center for Media Engagement based here at UT that showed that building some transparency into stories Turns out it actually does build trust. Nice to have data, right? Um, we've worked with 53 newsroom partners so far and are launching another round of experiments now. Um, oh, there we go, yep. And two things that um, Trusting News is, is doing now that I'll just briefly mention is, um, thanks to some funding from Democracy Fund, we're offering free coaching sessions for journalists, so anybody can request a session to talk to us about. Um, What's your slides? Oh, yeah. thanks, man. Um, to talk about how to use specific projects to build trust or how to better tell the story of your work. And then we also have a weekly newsletter that's one trust tip per week. So thank you.